Well, howdy folks. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm standing here in my house, and it's an older house, and so it always needs updates, remodels, all that kind of stuff. And there's one area of our house we haven't touched since we've lived here, and it's something my wife wants to fix up, so since she wants to fix it up, we're going to fix it up. So what I have behind me is our old coat closet. And we haven't done anything in this closet except we did stain the wood floor in there one time. Other than that, we really haven't done a whole lot. So we want to do some things to this closet. As you can see, it's still got the old original wallpaper on the wall. Everything just looks the same. Um, you'll see there's a hole in the sheetrock up here. It's because I had to pull some new wires for our new heating system last year. And um, down at the bottom, there's a hole down there because I had to pull the wires for the heating system. And I've got cables that go into the office on the other side of this wall. And so that gave me access to there. So we're going to redo this. We're going to take all the trim out. We're going to take all the shelving out, the boards, and we're going to put up some vertical beadboard on that back wall, cover everything up, paint it. And then instead of this rod, we're going to have coat hooks in here and we'll be able to hang coats up. We'll have some up high. We'll have some down low for the grandkids. We'll get started and get it gutted. Not gutted. We're not going to gut it. Once I get the beadboard up, we'll, my wife will paint it. She's the painter. She'll paint this all up, get it looking good. And then when we have guests over, they can just hang their coats in here. So we'll see what it looks like when we get done, but we're going to get to ripping this out, get it ready to go. Well, I guess the first thing we got to do is get this emptied out. Let's empty it. Empty bubble. <laughs> Hawaiian. No, no, tell them what's up there. Oh, those are vacuum bags for Rosie. Inflatable swim armbands. <laughs> I don't even know what's in here. I don't know whose hat that oh, is, but it won't fit me. Gee, I think that was here when we moved in in 99. <laughs> All right, we'll get everything else stripped out of here and then I'll be back when we put the beadboard up. Well, as you can see, the closet's all cleaned out. My wife got the sidewalls painted. We're not painting the back wall because that's where the beadboard's going. We're not putting beadboard on the side. You can see that I punched a hole in the wall while trying to take this board off. But that's okay because we're putting up a new board. It'll cover it up. We'll come across here. We'll put hooks on it. So that'll be all right. So the next thing I got to do is put my beadboard up on this back wall. Now typically when you put this stuff up, you want to run horizontal across your studs but to make sure we have enough we're going to run them vertical up and down so when you put them on you're not going to have anything to nail into except sheetrock which will be fine in this case because we'll have a piece of trim at the top but we also have a top plate to nail to up there we'll go ahead and use brad nails in the side I just got an inch and a quarter brad nails put in there to fasten it and then we have the bottom plate that we'll be able to attach to and there'll be base trim down there in the middle we'll have the board going across here that will be attached to the studs so it'll hold up there just fine before I get started I want to locate my studs because when I put this board up I want to be able to find them to be able to attach that board to and even though I have a stud finder, by the time I get another 5 16 board on this half inch rock, the stud finder might have a little more difficult time going through. So I'm just going to mark those. What we're using is this bead board. It's called Evertrue Edge Bead Groove. Uh, some of this has already been painted because we use some in the basement. But it's just a tongue and groove, 5 16 thick, pine, cheap, real lightweight, nothing big. Got it at Home Depot. Now there are advantages and disadvantages to how you run this and there's pros and cons for either way. We're going vertical so that we make sure and have enough material. 
if you go horizontal depending on your space you're going to need to add butt joints which we didn't want in the middle of the wall or you're going to need to buy more material so one of the things if you're running vertical you need to pay attention to is the width of the closet or the wall our wall from here to here is 36 inches so if i start with a full piece in the corner which covers three and a half inches the width here that it covers is three and a half inches i'm going to have about a three eighths piece on the other end then I'm going to have to try to fit in over this tongue and it's going to be difficult if not impossible to get in there. So I may rip an inch and a half off of this side. That will leave me two inches and that will give me almost two inches on the other side so it will be pretty even. It doesn't have to be exact but it will be close enough that no one will notice. And if you close the door on the closet no one will ever see it anyway. So you can see I ripped this one down. That's what I'm going to start with. And it's just going to go up against the corner and I'll move it up to the top. Just use some brad nails, put right in the edge. And jam right off the bat. Now unfortunately this closet's so small, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything because I'm about as big as the closet is. I did have to get me a new nailer. Mine quit, so I went with the battery powered. I'll do a review on that one later. But you just start in the corner. The first piece you're going to put a brad on that edge, and then you're going to put one here. You just angle it so that you'll be able to get your next piece over that tongue. Each piece from here on out, you're only going to put it on the tongue side. You don't need a nail over here because that tongue holds it in. Just make sure it's on there good and nail it. If you find you need to force it over, you need to get a scrap piece, put over this tongue, and then you can take a hammer and tap it. So I'm going to get the rest of these nailed up and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the beadboard up on the back wall. I got these boards up for the shelf. And the reason these are striped like that with some gray and some not is because we had these, we used these downstairs on the ceiling in the basement and we painted some already. And these are just left over, so they'll all get painted the same color. So now I am just ready for the painter aka my wife to come in and paint all this so when i started over here i put this piece up against the wall which is fine but when i got over to this side the walls are a little bit out so this piece was a little narrower at the top than it was at the bottom so i had to mark a line at an angle on there and cut that you could caulk this joint here on both sides or you could trim it but my wife thinks it's fine the way it is so we're just going to leave it like it is so as you can see my wife got everything painted i got these boards up um, earlier and then we also put a board here because we're going to have a couple of hooks here for the little kids same on this side a couple of hooks for the little kids to hang their coats i got one more piece of base to cut waiting on the paint to dry and we're going to put a bench in here as well so while I'm waiting there for everything to get done, I'm going to put these hooks up and if you're doing something like this, we're doing five hooks. So obviously the best place to start is going to be in the middle so you can get them all even. So I'm going to get these up and we're going to have one in the middle there, one there, one there. Okay, so we're here at the closet reveal now. So come on over here, honey bunny. You're done? <laughs> yep. All right, are you ready for this? I think so. <laughs> oh, you want to see it too, you Sonny? See? All right, here we go. Are All you right. ready? There it is. Oh my goodness! 
Wow! You did that? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Like it? I love it. Yep. We didn't spend much money either. <gasps> no, no. But wow! I love all the hooks. That's going to be awesome for the big family yep. and all the get-togethers. So what do you think? Was it worth it? It was worth it. All right. I love the shelf. You put a shelf in there? Two shelves? Oh my goodness. I can lay my purse there. We can put diaper bags there. Oh my goodness. The girls can hang their backpacks up. I love it. Good okay. job. <laughs> Thank you. We're on camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so that completes our closet remodel. I don't know what you call the thing. Just a closet makeover, or I heard someone call it a California closet. I don't want a California closet here in Missouri. But anyway, hopefully that might have gave you some inspiration. This was my wife's idea. It was all hers. She just threw me into it to do the work. So, uh, But we got it done, and I hope it helps you. And if you see something you like or want to comment on it, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about what we did or, or what we bought, I'll leave a few links down below of some things that we got. But there's not much. You just go to Home Depot and get what you need and, and get it done. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked it. Don't forget to like if you didn't like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed to the channel yet. I hope God blesses you and I hope you have a wonderful day.